up bitches it's the misanthropic one and i'd like to welcome you to volume two of my fuck reality tv series this time i'm going to be ripping apart parental control that airs on mtv the premise of that show is about two parents that can't stand the significant other that their child is involved with so they go to mtv studios to find eight or nine prospects and pick out two that their son or daughter could go out with to replace the one that they're currently going out with because they can't stand them. Okay, number one, the premise sucks dick. It just oozes a fakeness. I'm about to tell you why. Number one, if I was a parent and I couldn't stand the potential, or not potential, the significant other that my son or daughter was involved with, I would say this, I would not let that person within a 10 foot radius of my household. That's what a parent would say. I pay the fucking rent or I pay the mortgage in this house. I don't want that person here. I can't stand them. Number two, from a child's perspective, from a kid's perspective, a kid would say, Mom, Dad, you got to respect who I'm going out with. You may not like them, but you got to respect my decision. Tough luck. That's reality. Not going on fucking MTV looking up fucking clowns for your son or daughter to, to potentially go out with. Like, no, that doesn't work that way. So that takes care of that. So the interview process, they go to MTV talk to these people we're gonna keep it on a dude's perspective because i'm a dude i like pussy even though it works both ways on the show you could be a chick looking for a dude but let's just say let's just put myself in the position for for just this example so my parents will go to mtv you know interview these nine chicks or whatever asking them stupid questions uh based on stupid criteria retarded criteria that I bet MTV puts into their heads because there's no way that parents will be asking the type of shit that they ask like can you dance and can you do stupid shit like it's just fucking retarded uh, just go watch it like they ask uh, they ask them can they dance like one dude got up and started doing the Macarena one guy started saying I can make my boobies dance and started flexing his pecs like I don't believe how some of y'all pimp yourselves out on fucking TV. Like, have some fucking dignity. So, yeah. Interview process is retarded. Uh, the lines that are on the show are so fucking staged. It's not even funny. So motherfucking staged. Like, for example, end of the interview process. They'll get a laptop with the nine faces on it. Nine, like I said, put myself in the position. Nine girls' faces on it. My dad will say, I like her. My mother will say, I like her. So then they'll both turn to each other and high five. Like, what parents fucking high five? There's no parent on the face of this planet that fucking high fives anymore. You know? So that's fucking staged. Um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah. So they'll be sitting there uh, in the, in the uh, house, which... It's funny because every set house looks the fucking same, but the parents will be sitting there and they'll be talking about the significant other and say what they don't like about him. Like, for example, they'll say, oh, I don't like him because he uh, picks his, his ear and, and he picks his ears and the camera will go to a clip of the kid doing that. And then they'll say, oh, uh, I don't like the fact that uh, he uh, picks his eye boogers or whatever. Then the camera will go to a clip of him doing that, of the person doing that. And that's fake because there's no fucking way that the cameras will be able to capture that fucking moment because that's something that someone will do when they're around someone that they're comfortable with. So MTV's producers or whoever's there has to tell them, well, uh, so uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend's parents don't like the fact that you do this, so could you please do it? Because we want to uh, 
show it to the people. We want to show dumbass audience, dumbass America or the dumbass world, whoever's watching this, that, that you know, you do this. It, it, it adds to the effect. So that's fucking fake. Uh, the dumb dates, the dumb ideas for dates. I saw one episode. Well, before I get to that, parents are sitting down with the significant other, the current girlfriend. Again, I'm in this situation. Current girlfriend sitting there, and they're watching. The camera's following the boyfriend around. They're watching on TV. So all of a sudden, you know, the girl be will be good looking or whatever, and then uh, the girlfriend be like, huh, what a slut, you know, because girls are automatically jealous of one another for some unknown reason. And then the, the parents will be like, wait a minute, that's not nice. And then there'll be a little back and forth. That is so fake because if I was in that situation, number one, like I said before, it wouldn't come to the reality show. And even if it did, if we started having a back and forth, I would take you and throw you out of the fucking house. Like, you're not going to come in my house and insult me. Like I saw one one chick was making fun of uh, the father because he was heavy set, making fat jokes, which weren't funny, number one. And if I was that father, I would have grabbed that bitch by the hair and I would have body slammed her out the fucking house. So that's fucking fake. The dumb dates. I saw one episode where some girl took a dude out to a parking lot, took a giant tarp, had it on the big part of a parking lot and poured paint on the parking lot and got in her Mustang and started driving and swerving over the paint to make circles on the fucking white tarp. Yeah, that's my fucking idea of a fucking dream date to potentially hydroplane into a fucking pole. Yeah, nice dream date, bitch. Uh, Decision-making process. Y'all know how it is on reality TV shows. They got to keep you on your fucking toes with this stupid-ass suspense. And what I hate the most is they have a little dissing session because, you know, again, I'm in the situation. Say I, I out of the three girls, I eliminate two of them, right? The two will go, the, the cameras will show them, saying, oh, well, yeah, that nigga stunk anyway. Or they'll say, like, some dumb shit, you know, like, oh, that nigga's ugly. Or, yeah, I didn't like him anyway, or whatever. You know, they'll say all this shit. But just a minute ago, you were on my dick. Or if I was a chick, you were on my tits. You know what I'm saying? Like, just a minute ago, you were saying the opposite. Oh, yeah, I could have a potential future with him. Or, yeah, he's so handsome. Blah, 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 you know? So, if you won, you would be saying something different. So, that kills the whole fucking show. I just went over it. Fuck MTV. Fuck reality TV. MTV, start showing fucking videos again. Stop with this garbage. It's killing brain cells. Fuck you, MTV. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, alright bitches? One love.